Hey viewer, if you're liking this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Got feedback? Leave me a comment below. We love hearing from you. And most importantly, click subscribe and then the bell button to stay updated on our latest content. Good morning. It's Sunday morning about 6.30 a.m. We're about halfway through our little daily Sunday hike. And uh, I figured I'm gonna cut a video today. I got a little inspired by thinking about uh, some of the things that we talk about. We talk about our weapons and how to, I mean, in this modern age, we need to know how to use weapons that we can you know, deploy and, and uh, use it or available to us. You know, um, sometimes people even think that, you know, some of the esoteric systems that we use, you know, like uh, let's just go to Filipino martial arts, for example. Um, you know, there's five areas of play that we talk about a lot. We talk about the single stick, the double stick, the uh, stick and knife, the knife and the empty hand. Um, some people think that things like, you know, they can see the single stick Double stick, not so much, uh, until we start translating empty hand movements out of that. The one that uh, is commonly not looked at or looked at as just something to keep for historical perspective is the body daga or the sword and dagger. Um, I hate to say it, folks, but it's not necessarily so. All right, so Hawk has said many, many times, you know, we discuss this the seminars for decades, we've discussed this, that we live in a mixed weapon world, right? Um, you're probably not going to see two people out having a stick bite, but you will see somebody getting hit with an impact weapon. You know, same as with the blade. You may not see two guys squaring off having a knife fight, but you'll see a, a very uh, very good chance you can see a knife in, a, in an altercation. And handguns, and of course we got to worry about all that stuff. Um, there's lesser known weapons that people don't think about, uh, just common, commonly used household items. Like for instance, right now, if it was dark and I happened to be walking up to you, hit you in the face with this light, you might have a little bit of trouble seeing, and you won't see that coming right behind it. All right, so what we're gonna cover today is I'm just gonna break you down a little bit on the East Body Dogger perspective of stuff, you know, who's to say that I won't be carrying a stick and knife? I'm carrying this right now. Okay, this is a common day in 2020, 1115, okay? And guess what I've got in my hands? I've got a, a replica or a, something that could be used as the Espada, which is a big tire bumper, and I've got the Daga. These are available to me. Now, I'm not going to recommend you train with live weapons, but, you know, once you've got the hang of this stuff, it's not a big deal. And honestly, that's what I have today. That's what I'm going to use. So we're going to break down uh, just using this stick and dagger. Now, you want to understand how to use these motions and to use this blade to defend against yourself. Now, why would you want to have a stick and a dagger? Well, obvious thing is I've got two weapons. The other one is what if we're in a close range situation or an encounter, this stick gets stored, I've got another weapon available to me that's a beautiful close range weapon that I can use, all right? What I'm gonna give you today is I'm just gonna give you a couple of different little ideas on methods. Now, if uh, you've watched our previous videos on the methods of striking, you're gonna see all kinds of stuff on the uh, Ocho Ocho, the Bondi Bond, and so forth. Today we're just going to cover uh, basically a hit and retract strike, a follow through strike, a thrusting, uh, and then maybe cover the ocho ocho just a little bit. Not going to burn a bunch of time up here. We got some walking to do. But just to, to go back in perspective, we know we have a hit and retract strike, we have a follow through strike, and we have a thrusting motion, kind of what we call our Sinkiti Tusada. So this is uh, these are going to be based off of some of the old Ernesto Presas drills that I learned a long time ago. The very first one we did was a strike followed by a thrust, followed by a low strike, followed by a thrust, followed by a strike. Now we're gonna use that common pattern. The only thing that's gonna change is gonna be our uh, motion in between or our last motion, right? So if I was gonna cover the uh, hit and retract strike, I would do a strike, a follow through, a low strike, a strike, and hit and retract for my last motion. That would be the, the key method of striking we would use. So we're gonna use the hit and retract in that one. This time we'll do the follow through. Strike, thrust, strike, thrust, follow through. All right. Now this one we're going to do the uh, thrusting motion. Strike, thrust, strike, thrust, gaffing motion through. Okay. And those are usually going to be endings that you can use for any one of them. I'm going to give you the example now. Just using the ocho ocho with the figure eight. So I'll do my initial thrust, or my I'm sorry, my initial strike, thrust, strike, thrust. But now I'm going to do a downward ocho ocho with a thrust, 
and a follow through strike and this time I'll do the hit and retract. Or I could do the follow through. Or I could do the gaff. Okay, so any one of those three is a, a good finish you can use and that'll help you to mix it up a little bit so your training doesn't seem to get uh, boring or, or anything like that. You've always got enough stuff out there to pull from to go ahead and make your training a little bit more exciting or a little fun. Or, you know, just, just break it up a little bit, you know. So, strike, thrust, strike, thrust, downward ocho ocho, thrust, and now a follow through. Okay, downward ocho ocho, a thrust, and a gaff. You know, that type of thing. Now the next one we're going to do is we're going to do the upper rotation. Strike, thrust, strike, thrust, upper rotation, ocho, thrust, follow through, and retract, gaff. I think you get the idea. Okay, and the very last one we're going to cover is uh, we're just going to cover a quick little thrusting. How do I do thrusting with my stick at the same way? We'll do our Sankiti Tutsada here. So I strike, I thrust, I strike, I thrust, I thrust. I thrust, I thrust, I thrust, and I either follow through strike, hit the retract strike, or gap. Okay? So if you take a look at our methods of striking, you'll see that uh, you can use any of those methods of striking in here. You can do the, you know, the uh, hit and retract, the follow through, the thrusting as a, a basic way of doing it. There's three for you. You can go to the Ocho Ocho up and down, you can do the Bondi Bondi, you can do the Rompita, you can do the Sunkiti Tutsada. You can do the doblete, you can do the abanico, you can do the doblada. All of those can be done from the pattern. You know, and really all I do is I look at following up the same way. So again, if we're doing the downward ocho ocho, we would strike, thrust, strike, thrust, do the ocho ocho, thrust, and finish. Okay? Now if I was doing the uh, sunkiti tutsada, no different. Strike, thrust, strike, thrust, 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 thrust thrust and a finish up okay hope that makes sense to you uh, don't look at older or more traditional systems or methods of striking methods of deploying your weapons um, as being something you can't train or you just keep from a historical perspective right now if I was accosted I would have a stick and a blade okay and these would be used to get me home safe so uh, pay attention to what you have learn to work with mixed weapons Utilize flashlights, anything you can use uh, as a force multiplier or an equalizer, and uh, have a great day. We'll see you later.